Alrighty, hello everybody. Today's a bit of a different type of video that we want to trial and uh, hopefully going to continue doing uh, in the future. Um, this one is uh, a lore video on one of our um, personal favorite characters from the Fable series, uh, Maze, um, and we'll hopefully be coming with a few more uh, in the future as well, and we'll see how they go. Um, and if we enjoy doing them, and if you guys like them, we'll uh, we'll keep them coming. So um, I guess we'll get straight into it um, with his backstory. Yeah, so M Maze was a key character in, in Fable and Fable Lost Chapters, which is pretty much the same story. Um, he hailed from the secluded shores of Hook Coast, um, up in the north of Albion. He was once a powerful wizard, um, basically kind of um, seen as maybe the head of the guild, even though the guild master ran the guild. But he was seen as a powerful wizard, showing remarkable powers of will, predominantly. Um, he was the leader of the Heroes Guild, considered above the guild master, as just mentioned. Um, however, Maze did kind of have a terrible secret in the sense that he was actually in the service of the demonic Jack of Blades, who was the main villain, um, after Jack of Blades saved the wizard from death in his youth. So because he was forever in debt to his savior, Maze served his master for many years, um, but then as he grew older, Maze believed that he would eventually be killed by Jack and decided to try and preempt that first. Um, yep, so as uh, as Maze was sort of starting to doubt um, how useful he would be to Jack, um, he actually ended up getting uh, uh, forced to lead a raid on uh, the main character's hometown of Oakvale, um, where he eventually uh, ended up sensing greatness within the boy um, and uh, saved the boy from death and took him to the Heroes Guild, eventually leading to the story of the game. Um, so he was one of the key figures in training uh, the main character uh, into becoming a hero. Um, and he was very, very hopeful that eventually um, this hero would be strong enough to defeat Jack of Blades. Um, but his mental state started to decline as the story goes on, as he starts to doubt uh, that the hero's strength would ever be enough to sort of topple Jack of Blades' immense power. Yeah, and so during the hero um, of the game, Hero of Egg Vale's quest to find the Septimal Key in Hook Coast and stop Jack from finding the Sword of Aeons, um, the hero discovered that Maze had actually captured the hero's sister, Teresa. Um, so he discovered that Maze was a, essentially a traitor. Maze tried to lie his way out for um, uh, both Teresa and Jack to reveal his true allegiance. The latter um, was more convincing. Um, then with that, the hero realized that uh, Maze was trapped by Jack in a magical cage and Maze completed this ritual, thus giving Jack of Blades the key um, that he needed to find the sword. Once Jack had left, and before Maze took um, both of them to the Chamber of Fate, Teresa, with the remaining power, managed to free her brother from his cage. Um, and then, basically, the, fun, the battle between the hero and Maze um, goes on. And essentially, once you've defeated Maze, as he lies dying, he did apologize for his actions and explained to him that he didn't think he was strong enough, but that he was wrong. So finally, when Maze died, he kind of was at peace. Yeah, so um, I guess overall uh, Maze's story is um, kind of a tragic one, really. Um, he lived a life um, indebted um, to Jack of Blades, um, and he never really, you know, all of the, the fame he sort of had as a, as a famous sort of hero um, was sort of not unearned, but it was definitely um, overshadowed in his own mind by the fact that he was indebted to Jack at all times. Um, and one of the things he did that was very, very key to the story, besides um, all the things we've already mentioned, is that... Um, in his free time, he spent a lot of time uh, sort of studying um, the sort of Aeons and also Avos Tear, and he was trying to find a way uh, to potentially get Avos Tear in order to defeat uh, Jack of Blades himself, uh, which obviously never came to fruition. But thanks to his research, um, the hero is eventually able to find these books in the uh, library, and um, the hero himself then finds out how to get Avos Tear, which is uh, key to. Um, beating Jack of Blades in the last chapters. Yes. Um, so a little bit more of his backstory as well. Um, I mean, we, we, and this is what we know. So there's not a huge amount to go on. But what we know that what was as he was a boy, um, both of his parents were killed by Balverines, um, which is the, I guess, the werewolf in, like, in kind of this fable world. Um, Maze was saved from death afterwards, though, by Jack of Blades and two other heroes. Um, but basically Jack killed those two heroes again to just show his strength, basically. Um, and then Maze basically was then indebted to him. Um, 
he we know that he was always a, a mage first and foremost like he had very powerful will user and mana um and basically he, he was one of the most powerful um basic beings around he was only really surpassed by jack of blades and the hero of oakvale possibly scythe and the guildmaster were close but not really uh, on the same level um he i guess had mastered most of the will spells that you can do in lost chapters um and basically yeah it, it kind of <laughs> He can kind of do a lot more will than what you can even do, even if, as the main character, you focus fully on will, you can never do all of the things that Maze could do, so he's pretty, he's pretty up there. Um, so, for example, in Flame, which you can learn, his always had a larger area, and he can cast it even if he's moving, whereas you can't. Um, so, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty good. Um, I guess, I guess, um, like, just to sort of uh, talk about him, really, I mean, I, I think that, like, Maze probably, um, Maze probably is an understanding situation. It's one of those things in Fable where they, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, a way to get the betrayal story in there, but it actually makes sense. It's, it's, it's a, it's a character that kind of, you know, would feel indebted to a Jack of Blaze who saved him from being killed and probably taught him quite a lot of stuff as well if he was just a boy. Um, and basically when Jack of Blaze pretends he's not necessarily ousted yet as fully evil, perhaps and um, you know perhaps he originally followed him believing him to be good um but when he realized that he wasn't and that he would himself be killed anyway maybe he like he you know would have lied to jack about the hero being alive because the you know the mother was obviously taken off the father was killed and the sister had i think disappeared um and so they that maybe he didn't want to kill the that the, the boy he wanted to train him up as a potential successor to be able to take on jack of blades so you could say that he maybe saved the boy's life, actually. Um, what, what do you think? Yeah, so he definitely did. I think it's a it's a really, really interesting story for me in that he himself was saved as a boy um, by Jack. And then eventually, um, on the orders of Jack, he was supposed to kill the boy and his family, but eventually um, decides to save him uh, himself as well. Um, which I think sort of just goes to show that... Um, I guess Maze always sort of knew that the main character would sort of uh, carry on his torch and be the next uh, successor to the guild um, in the same way that he was. But he started to doubt just due to the fact that Jack was so immensely powerful that, you know, even even as powerful as Maze was, it was really difficult for him to sort of see past the sort of overwhelming strength that was Jack. Um, and he started to doubt uh, the main character's power. And that's why he sort of started to turn to other options like, um, you know, um, Avos Tear, for example, um, which he was deemed unworthy to wield, and he couldn't find it in the first place, which is why um, even after his death, um, his work is pretty much the only reason why the hero was able to defeat Jack anyways, because, um, you know, without his uh, knowledge of Avos Tear, the hero never would have found it himself, and then, you know, without that, he wouldn't have defeated Jack um, in the Lost Chapters. So... Um, I think Maze is a really, really key character to the Lost Chapters story, um, and he's one of my personal favorites as well, because I think the redemption of sort of apologizing uh, before dying as well was really, um, really just goes to show that he did regret his actions, but truly believed that he didn't really have a choice in the face of Jack. Yeah. He kind of reminds me a little bit in that sense of like a Snape in Harry Potter when Snape finally died, spoiler alert, but he kind of has that kind of a moment, you know, like actually what he did, even though he was kind of working against the hero as well, you sort of realise that actually he did do a lot to help the hero, i.e. saving him as a boy, helping leave the trail to the to Avos Tear, you know, and, and, you know, I guess maybe slowing down Jack a little bit, if nothing else, at the end there. Um, and, and finally, the, the final thing was instilling belief in the hero, saying, maybe you are strong enough, maybe I was wrong. Um, so I think Maze is one of those characters that was probably more human, perhaps, than than, than the rest in, in, in Fable. Yeah, and again, he's he's basically the first hero character your, uh, your hero sees as a child, and he's one of the first sort of benchmarks that you're aiming to... Um, not necessarily overcome, but he's one of the first characters you sort of see in the game and want to uh, end up rivaling in strength. Um, and I think it's a really, really key moment for your character as an arc to um, surpass him and actually beat him in a in a um, fight at Hook Coast um, so that you can continue pursuing um, Jack of Blades and the key. Um, 
So yes. I really, really like Maze. He's he's one of my personal favorite characters, and I, I think he he has a really, really undeniable impact on uh, Fable and Fable: The Lost Chapters. Agreed, and I think it's a bit it's fitting that he perishes in the area that he, it all began for him in Hook Coast as well. Yeah, his his entire story um, goes in a full sort of circle, um, which is, I guess, a, a good sign uh, of a character being written well. Um, and I think with that, um, that's pretty much all I have to say on Maze. Um, if there's anything else you want to cover, um, go for it. But otherwise, I think we've pretty much covered uh, his lore as a whole. There's not too much to go on, unfortunately. Um, he is sort of a, despite his impact, he is sort of considered a more minor character. So there isn't too much backstory. but we've given you everything we have. Yeah, I think, um, I, I think that's, um, that, that sums it up. Um, yeah, that's Maze. Um, if we missed anything or if you wanted to add anything to the story of Maze, let us know. Um, and if we find anything out in the future, we'll update and with a new video. Yeah. Um, and let us know in the comments as well, if, um, you know, how you, how you feel about Maze and whether you think ultimately, you know, he was sort of a, a good character in the end or whether you still think his actions were um, more so on the evil side. Um, I personally think he was a good character in the end. Um, good as in, um, like, you know, closer to a hero than a villain. Um, so, yeah, let us know. And, um, yeah, we'll be back um, hopefully soon with some more Fable lore and maybe we'll do lore for other series as well. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. See ya.